So there's considerable evidence that the Trump administration used ChatGPT or Grok or another LLM to create trade policy, specifically the tariffs that were announced yesterday. The reason we know that is that Rohit, who is an author, uh, he wrote uh, Building God, which is a fun book. He actually ran a prompt for trade tariffs through Claude 3.7, through ChatGPT, multiple models, through Grok. What he found was the same mistake in all of them, where the basis for a tariff was a trade imbalance. And a trade imbalance is actually not a basis for a tariff, because if you're doing reciprocal tariffs, you want to match to a tariff rate in another country. And if you are doing trade imbalance tariffs, that's not what you're doing at all. You're just sort of making up math to divide the amount of goods some country buys by the amount of goods we buy here in the US and dividing that out. And that's how you get your tariff. And that's what they did. And that's also what the LLM recommends. And that's what zero economists would recommend. And if you're like, Nate, why is this a tariff channel? The answer is, it's not a tariff channel. I just studied economics, lived through multiple economic crises on multiple continents. So it's sort of interesting to me. And also it's AI. It's the first case where arguably a misaligned AI caused an economic crisis. It's kind of a big deal. And you can say, well, it wasn't intentionally misaligned, but I suspect we'll be saying that about a lot of future crises caused by AI if that happens. So the second thing we know, also suggestive of AI writing this entire policy from scratch, is that it's not actually country-based. Countries have political governments and can impose tax rates, tariffs, etc. Top-level internet domains do not map to countries. They partially map to countries. We think they do because our top-level domain does, but they don't entirely. And so when there was a lot of laughter going around the internet about the Trump administration putting tariffs on an uninhabited island with penguins, uh, you know why? They have their own top-level internet domain. The herds of McDonald Islands have their own top-level internet domain, HM, and that's why they got tariffs, because someone dumped the name of entities with top-level internet domains and decided that was going to be the object against which they wrote tariffs. And that is incorrect. That is what an LLM might do if you didn't check it, but it's incorrect. So misaligned AI caused an economic crisis, or you could read it as the most recent example of the problem is between keyboard and chair. I'll leave you there. You can sound off in the comments. It's been a day.